Hi, it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to give you assembly tips on creating a fun fold card using the beautiful floral prints that is in the Best Dress Designer Series paper in the January through June 2020 Stampin' Up! mini catalog. It is six by six paper. You get 12 different designs. They're double-sided and some of the sides have beautiful floral prints. So we're going to be using this paper for the card. The design I'm going to use has Blackberry Bliss. This also goes very well with several other colors in the Stampin' Up! exclusive color family. The cardstock base, the designer series paper is three by five and a quarter. The cardstock base, and I'm using Blackberry Bliss, is seven and a half by five and a half. This is scored at three and a quarter. A lot of, and I'm using the Simply Scoring tool for that. A lot of times I will tell you it's scored at four and a quarter, which is actually rotated this way. The reason I say that is I like, I'm right-handed. I score with my left hand, or my right hand. I hold the cardstock with my left hand, so I have more cardstock base to hold here. So some of my previous instructions may have said, said four and a quarter, and that's the reason for that. So it can be four and a quarter or three and a quarter. And the Simply Scoring tool works great for scoring your cardstock. The other piece of cardstock we need is a Whisper White piece of cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. And what I did was I ran a portion, approximately, approximately one inch of this edge through the subtle embossing folder. I just placed it on like so, ran it through my machine and embossed just the edge of this paper. And what I'm going to do is apply that. First we'll fold this and we'll use a bone folder to crease it. Then I'm going to apply this to the inside card base with the textured edge on the right side. The reason I do that is part of this Whisper White cardstock is going to be exposed. And if you start writing your inside sentiment and you go too far to the right, your inside sentiment may be exposed because of this flap panel being shorter. So that's why I like to texturize that. That's just a little guide. It also gives it a wonderful design. The designer series paper, as I mentioned, is three by five and a quarter. And I always tend like to put this piece on first instead of the top piece, because this way I can actually line this side and this side up and make sure that I'm even there. And if I've cut this all correctly, it should be equal spacing on all sides there. So that's the card base. The embellishments could be with die cuts. They could be with punches. And I'm actually loving these two new punches in the Stampin' Up! catalog. So I'm going to use both of those. It's Label Me Lovely and Label Me Fancy. I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss ink pad. And the stamp set I'm going to use, the sentiment is from a stamp set in the mini catalog, and it is called um, Peaceful Moments. I really like that stamp set for the sentiments. So I've stamped the sentiment on my scrap piece of cardstock. Then I can bring my punch in, and I'm right-handed, so I'm going to do this upside down. And that's okay. I can still visually see that I'm equal spacing top and bottom and punch that out. So I've got that part punched. Then what I'm going to do is take a piece of scratch cardstock or scrap cardstock and punch out with the um, Label Me Lovely punch and adhere these two together. So where did I just put my, here, right in front of me. I'm gonna use the snail adhesive, oh goodness. And I'm going to apply this, and I just inked up my ink pad so I didn't let it dry very long. You usually don't have to let it dry too long, but I'll keep assembling this. So now what I wanna do is have this sentiment adhered that hangs over a little bit. My tip for you is to take your dimensionals and apply them to the edge of your front panel 
and then to the back side, left side, left edge of your image that you're going to hang over. That way, when you peel the backings off and you apply this, you don't have to worry about your dimensional being exposed on the back. And what would happen is, if it was exposed on the back, when you close your card, you've sealed it shut. This way we have no exposed dimensional and we've added a nice sentiment. I'm going to use the quarter inch crinkled seam binding that's also in the mini catalog, make my bow. I like to leave my ribbons on the spool and make my bows and then trim. Whether it's a knot or a bow, that way I feel that I um, don't waste as much ribbon. Now I'm going to use a mini glue dot to attach this and they work perfect. So just find a mini glue dot here. Bring your image right to the mini glue dot and I'll pick it up with the take your pick tool. Attach that to my card. And there is the fun fold card with the beautiful floral prints from the Best Dressed Designer Series paper. If you found me via YouTube, look in the comments section for a direct link to my blog post where you'll find the supply list, measurements, and instructions for this project. There'll be a PDF tutorial you can download, and I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the red box under the video. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed creating this project with me.